today I'm gonna show y'all how to make a fake shutter speed effect. Now this is, this is for all the people that got a camera and don't know how to do it, or just don't have a camera to do it. So basically first you wanna go on YouTube. Now shout out to Dion Lynch right here for making this tutorial video. But uh, y'all can watch this video if y'all want to, but basically go in his description and go to this posterized plugin link. Now when you get to here, you wanna download the plugin from this link. Uh, I need more storage in my drive, don't pay that no attention. But yeah, you see this? Download that. And from there, I'm not gonna tell y'all how to put the effect in the Final Cut Pro, cause that's not what this tutorial is. But there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that'll tell y'all how to do it. So now from there, you wanna go to Final Cut Pro. And for Final Cut Pro, you wanna pick a clip out, it don't matter what clip, and just get a random one. I'm gonna tell y'all how to do it right now. So first you wanna put the posterize, on your clip. Now, when, once it's on there, you wanna go to, see the strobe rate? Put it on five. Now, if it, just make sure it looks like he's stopping and then going and stopping and going and stopping. Yeah, y'all, I'll show y'all right here. I'm gonna show y'all how it looks without all the extra effects on it. Like that. Y'all want it to look like that. So, change it to five. And from there, you want to add a visual echo to it. Visual echo is going to give it that extra, like, that double look. I don't know. So put the amount on 60.74 and the duration on 0.23. And then you want to add a directional blur to it. All this is on Final Cut Pro. These are not plugins. The only plugin on here is the posterized effect. So put the directional blur and put the amount on 90.3 and the angle on 1.5. I don't really think it matters, but in my situation, it made it look a lot more authentic. And then you want to add an H film if you want to. I feel like this made it, you know, look a little better with the grain, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, I put the amount on 50.24, the adjust color on negative 0.1. I was just kind of playing with it. I don't really like have specific, you know, things that I do every time. It's just whatever looks good during the moment. It's what I do. So yeah, I turned the scratches off. And then the grain, I got it on 32.03 because you don't want the grain to be taken over. So yeah, basically that's all you gotta do. You know, shout out to Dion Lynch for dropping that video, which gave me the idea to do this. Yeah, y'all see that? Mm -hmm. That's probably the most authentic shoulder speed effect I've seen that wasn't used by that wasn't made by you know using the camera and turning down your shoulder speed I would do it with my camera but I'm not gonna play with the settings like that because uh, I'm just gonna leave it how it is I'll get an older camera to do that but that's besides the point I hope y'all enjoyed the video you know I hope this helps some of y'all out and yeah hope y'all have a good day and all that peace